is not your role to make others happy. It is your role to keep yourself in balance. A couple things that I've experienced in my life have been through a lifetime experience, and I've been so grateful to find these teachings because through experiences and through these teachings together has brought. So much alignment and clarity. Yeah, because there's not a shred of evidence to the contrary of any of this. And when you get hold of these concepts and start looking around, then you get it. You get yeah. it. And what has, in the past, been an amazing journey, has been a near-death experience that I've had. And in having that, coming back and trying to find the alignment with. Physical and the non-physical, and being in heaven and seeing the loved ones and sitting with Jesus and hearing that it ta being taken places and shown things, and then bam, come back into the physical world and not want to be here because that feels more real. And feeling that tug. Beca because that because the unconditional love that surrounded you there is what you want to find here. But it feels like there were too many conditions here that prevented you from feeling what you felt there. Exactly. Isn't that, isn't that just the most fascinating thing? Exactly. And so then through that, in being able to go back and forth, in, in realizing that and then enjoying being back into my physical form, in, an, in that state of allowing, that's when the transformation happened. And then it's going back at will going back and spending time and realizing that the phenomenon of this place that we call heaven is not heaven heaven is exactly being in the space of relativity it's a state of being isn't it it's not a place it's a state of being and its greatest potential to be realized is right here on the leading edge where all that you call heaven and God is focused right here right here where you are and every time I leave and that's I, why it feels so bad when you don't let it in is because there's so much of it flowing in other words if it weren't flowing you could resist if it weren't flowing in that strong way you could resist it and not feel uncomfortable but because it is flowing in that strong because it is so much your nature it is so much what is natural to you good really good and then in, and also when I'm there it's so fun to feel like I'm coming back to heaven coming back right here this is heaven and I can say goodbye and I come back and this contrast of which you teach well, you're turning relativity your, you're turning so your frequency fun. you're turning tuning your frequency to that which you are perceiving as heaven and you're perceiving heaven as it, 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 it wasn't what you saw it's how you felt and that's what we're talking about with these emotions it it doesn't matter what the reason for them is it's the resulting emotion that you're feeling and once you get a handle on that and you discover that you can conjure you can control your emotions through your ability to focus one day Tracy said to her mother Jerry and Esther were in Texas and Tracy was in California and Tracy said on the telephone I need to come to Texas when's the next Abraham gathering I need my Abraham fix and in those days all of the seminars were happening in different cities in Texas or most of them and so Esther told Tracy when it was and she said what's going on and Tracy said I don't know I've just lost my my feeling my good feeling I need and and Esther said well why do you want to come to a seminar and Tracy said oh, I just remember sitting there in the seminar I don't even remember what Abraham was talking about and I just remember feeling so good that I wanted to stand up and just yell yes and Tracy said never mind it's back <laughs> so that's what you're talking about you had that out-of-body experience you had that near-death experience all you have to do is remember what that felt like but you don't have to have that near-death experience in order to know what love feels like you all know what you know what you feel like when you felt love it's your love for someone that you have control over not their love of you rather than focusing on how someone feels about you focus upon how you feel show yourself that you can sit in five or ten minutes with a notebook and just write a few words and you can transform the way you feel and when you do notice 
how you transform what begins to happen around you it's a wonderful experience that you had we just want you to realize that you have you see that's the best part of that you will never forget what that felt like so you can tune yourself forevermore to that feeling and I continue to go back because I there's not a grasping and a clinging to it anymore so it continues to go back and sometimes it's going back for fun and teaching and just to play and then coming back here but I want to be here this is heaven for me yeah well this because is this is where we all are you guys mm -hmm. have this you have an illusion of us being somewhere else it's so yeah. odd how you keep looking up for us <laughs> We're all right here with you. We're in your mind. We're in your movements. We're in your body. We're in your actions. We're in your taste buds. We're in your sensual feelings in your body. We are right here with you. We're in your mind. We are in everything. We are in everything that exists. Pure positive energy flowing with you. And often, often we all, I've, I've noticed I've done that in so many forms of my life and I have to keep on coming back into alignment because so often we want this phenomenon of something that we don't really have or that just seems so magical or seems so beyond is so much better yeah. rather than being so grateful exactly what is being experienced that in the imperfection is perfection is perfect right where it's at. the nice thing to know about about finding this alignment is after a while it's such a natural practiced vibration that it's not like having to go back to it it it's it's just being it and we, we want to help you just a little bit to dissolve some of the effort around it you, you don't have to go back to it this, these are the words we want you to hear just stop doing that thing you're doing that's keeping you from it that's why you go away for 11 days <laughs> Just stop doing that thing you and that's what we mean by the cork that floats unless you hold it under the water it floats so all of that pure positive energy that you described and all of those wonderful emotions are right there for you unless you're doing something that and what is it that you're doing in other words why how do your emotions work the way they do why do you feel ever negative emotion it's because who you are is a vibration that you're not letting yourself be so you've got that sort of tug of war going on so if you just stop trying so hard to be it and just take a nap or meditate then you stop in the, the introducing of that contradiction or that resistance and then you are there again some years ago we offered an analogy about so you're walking forward and somehow you are spewing a sort of red inky mist and you keep spewing it so everywhere you go it's all around you but if you just stop spewing it it'll be there for a while but it will dissipate and pretty soon you'll walk into a clear space and so that's what we mean by just allowing yourself sometimes the contrast gets strong enough that your desire gets strong enough that your desire dominates and that's what a near-death experience is where you're asking and not allowing and 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 the more you're asking and not allowing the stronger the tug of war gets so you're asking and not allowing and asking and not allowing and asking and not allowing till finally you're asking with such volume such vibrational volume such proportion such powerful meaning that the the asking for just a moment dominates and you have the experience like you had but you're not practiced at staying there in other words the stakes just got so high that you ask in such a strong way so that's why you've done enough asking to keep yourselves busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes your vortex is full of so much it's the time to chill out it's the time to begin allowing it's the time to give yourself a break it's a time to walk more and breathe more and get outside more and drink more water and be nicer to yourself and get a massage every now and again and go to movies that are funny and and don't watch the news <laughs> do the things that make you feel good 
train yourself into what feels good and then and then all the things that are in your vortex all of that vibration becomes reality you create you accomplish a consistent enough perspective of life that you allow the heaven that is the vortex to be realized by you moment by moment by moment by moment and that's when it gets so good it's not like you want that and you make your way to it it's that there's your path just keeps unfolding and unfolding and unfolding and every step on the path is a delicious step it's clarity and it's learning and it's understanding and it's knowing and it's fun and and it's involvement with others it's just good 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 that's what you came for not one of you said I'll go suffer myself and if I am meek enough in my suffering that then I will be granted permission to leave this horrible place and return to heaven not one of you said anything like that you said I am a pure positive energy being and I'll go forth into an environment that will inspire expansion within me and all of the resources all of the energy that creates worlds will be at my back flowing through me for the accomplishment of anything that I'm inspired to and the inspiration will never cease you are eternal beings you never stop being you see and the only time that anyone would want to reemerge into heaven or go away for 11 days in silence sorry you came aren't you <laughs> enormously beneficial part of all of this is because you don't want the resistance you don't want the feeling of resistance that you have come to accept and eventually to expect you see we want you to gradually allow yourself to expect all of the things that the source within you expects for you really good conversation good. this is a good time for a segment of refreshment we want to just recap something here quickly that is so do you accept that you are extensions of source energy and does it feel logical to you that you are the leading edge of that source energy consciousness and that this manifestation is something that source wants that's why you came and so can't you feel how how much we started to say how many it's not quite the right term are rooting for your accomplishment of whatever is important to you we just want you to understand that the success that you're looking for is the joy and when you put that in the perspective of what you most want and then you show yourself that you can accomplish it in this moment and then this moment and in this moment regardless of anything else that's going on then you've got it in other words when you put that joy factor first and you show yourself how you can unconditionally achieve it now you've got it now anything and everything that you've been picking up along your physical trail will flow easily into your experience for the enhancement of that joy really good time for a segment of refreshment you need to create around you a vibrational atmosphere that is absent of resistance and then what is in your vortex can just flow into your experience